How's it going, everybody? My name is Elise Radar, and welcome to a one month later look at the Google Nest doorbell camera. So I do want to put a disclaimer here at the front of the video. Um, I'm recording this top down with my webcam for my computer. I don't really have an elegant way to record videos like this. So this is the same way my Razer Kishi review was filmed. So I do apologize if it looks a little um, unprofessional, but right now this is just the only way I can think to do this. And I don't want to drop $700 on a DSLR camera and then an additional $200 on a fancy bracket to mount it top down. So for right now, we're just working with this. But um, this is the Google Nest doorbell camera and it's the wireless version. And I've had it for about a month and I've been using it quite a bit. So the story behind why I picked this up is that I recently moved out to an apartment complex. This is my first apartment. And so being able to have a camera, see what's going on outside of my apartment, when I get packages delivered, the ability to see if somebody's trying to steal the package, identify who steals the package, contact authorities, all of that, it is just nice to have for added security. So this is the way the camera looks. It's very sleek and modern, and I have it installed in this little bracket right here. And the reason for that is my apartment complex won't allow any resident to install things on the outside of their unit. So you cannot screw in your own doorbell cameras. You cannot screw in anything to the outside of your apartment. On the inside, you can mount whatever you want, but on the outside, they want to keep it uniform. That's whatever. I get it. I got this bracket that basically clips onto the door, and that is how I can see what's going on outside of my apartment. So it uses this little mechanism right here. You clip it around your door, you screw it in, and then you close your door. And then when you open and close your door, this basically just comes with it. This is an anti-theft bracket. There is no way to get the camera out from the outside. And the only way is flush against the back of the door, right? So you're opening and closing your door and this camera's basically flush against it. And then this part back here is on the inside of your apartment and that's how you tighten it down. So that's basically how the mechanism works. Now, unfortunately, because this is the wireless edition of the Nest doorbell camera, there is a wired one if you want to hook it up to your own houses or apartments uh, doorbell, if they allow you to do that. Um, the way to charge this thing is right here, but unfortunately, you cannot charge it while it's in the mounting bracket. You have to take the bracket apart, but it is only four screws to get at it. So it is a little annoying, but I only have to charge this thing about once every two months, but I do actually charge it once a month once the battery hits 50%. So battery life on this thing does vary depending on how much motion there is outside of the camera. So if people are walking back and forth past the camera all day, like they are at my complex, then your battery life is going to be about three to six weeks. And that's about what it is for me. But if you live in a more secluded area or you're at the very end of the hallway at the apartment, and nobody ever walks all the way down to your unit or whatever, maybe your camera battery will last longer. This is rated for up to six months, but for me, with my day-to-day -day use, it only lasts about two months. And I do charge it every month rather than every two months. And the charging process takes about two and a half hours from 50% to full. So by that logic, we can just assume for a dead battery, it would take about four and a half to five-ish hours. As I said before, this bracket is anti-theft. There is no way for them to remove the doorbell. And I will have the bracket linked down below if your apartment complex also does not allow you to mount anything to the walls or to your door frame. But I want to go ahead and talk about my experiences with the camera. So in terms of quality, I think the camera's resolution, and I'll put some videos up on screen right now of just me coming and going from my apartment. I think that the resolution is fine. The built-in microphone on the camera is decent. It's pretty easy to hear what people are saying. The little part down here, which you can kind of see, uh, the lighting is very much flushing it out. But there is a little button down here that you can press, which actually rings the doorbell. And whenever the doorbell rings, if you have the Google Home app installed, it gives you a little notification on your phone. So that is just now Google Home notification, front doorbell. So... You get a notification whenever somebody walks by, you get a notification whenever somebody rings the doorbell, and you can customize the notifications as you want. So I have mindset to only get notified when somebody walks by with a package, but this thing doesn't exactly know what a package is. So I've had my neighbors that live in the unit across from me, our front doors are exactly across from each other. So whenever they leave their apartment, this thing sees them. And if they're taking out their trash to our dumpster here, it identifies the bag of trash they're holding as a package. Or if they're doing their laundry and they're walking to the laundry unit here, it identifies their basket of laundry as a package. So it's not perfect, 
It thinks anybody holding something walking by is person with package, but you can customize your notifications to fit your needs. So you're not notified every single time somebody's just walking by because that's how I had it set at first. And it was very annoying. So I have it set personalized where it only notifies me if somebody rings the doorbell, somebody stands still in front of it for, I think, 10 seconds, or if somebody walks by with a package. So that is the way I have my doorbell set up. In terms of microphone quality, as I said before, it's not amazing, but it is decent. I can pretty much make out everything people say when they ring the doorbell, if they're trying to talk to me or whatever. Camera quality is decent. I think that the overall look of the device is Eh, you can get it in multiple different colors. I wish I would have got mine in black instead of white, just so it would have blended in more. But um, I basically went into Walmart and picked up the first one I could find. So as I said before, this is the wireless version, and I have it installed in this bracket. So I'm going to go ahead and take the bracket apart. And for this, you will need a screwdriver. I have one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and disassemble the bracket. And just like that, you take out all four screws and the back just pops off. So it is important to remember what orientation that you want this in, because if you mount it like this instead, when you go to install your device, it'll be upside down. So make sure you know which way your door opens, which way you want the camera to be uh, placed. Because when I originally installed my camera, I did install it upside down. This little piece back here just holds everything steady. And then this is something I do want to talk about. So when I first got this bracket, this is a part of the original mounting hardware for the doorbell camera. And when I originally mounted it, I didn't include this metal piece because, well, I wasn't using the original mounting hardware. But my camera didn't work. So I contacted Google support. I'm like, yo, I bought a Nest doorbell camera. It's straight up not working. What's going on here? And they're like, well, um, send us your unit number. Everything seems to be fine. Plug it in. Everything looks to be working normal. Are you using our official mounting bracket? And I'm like, no, I'm not allowed to screw stuff into the wall. And they're basically like, well, tough shit. You have to use our official mounting bracket. First of all, that's absurdly stupid. You should not have to use the Google official mounting bracket to mount something like this. You should be able to use whatever kind of mounting hardware you want. You bought the product. It's yours. It's not Google's anymore. You should be able to do what the fuck you want with it. But this little metal piece right here is the key for the doorbell to work. And it's because of this little circle down here. So if you do not have this around this doorbell, no worky. It's stupid because it's very easy to just assemble the bracket and not even have that on there. And the bracket doesn't stop you from it being assembled if you don't have that on there. And if it was like this, by the way, this little piece right here, if it wasn't for this, I'd be able to charge it with the bracket just on, right? So I would be able to just plug it in, not even have to disassemble the thing to charge it. You can see the USB type C down there. It looks like a little freaked out smiley face or whatever, right? So it is, it's annoying that I'm not allowed to mount the, uh, the Google Nest doorbell camera without this piece. So it does not matter if you're not using the official mounting hardware, unless you have this piece on, it won't work. It is magnetic. Obviously that's a little magnet right there. And it kind of just flips into place. Doesn't really wiggle. And then your doorbell camera will work. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out of its little shell. And I'm going to keep everything oriented correctly. So I'm just going to put this little piece right here the way that I would have it. And so this is the way the doorbell actually looks when it's not installed. It's uh, smaller than my hand, but I do have fairly large hands. So um, I will put the dimensions of it up on the screen. But it looks very sleek and it looks very, looks very sleek and it looks very modern. Sorry, I keep forgetting I'm going to flip this in post. So I'm... I'm showing it to you upside down. This is the way the device looks when it's not in the bracket. It's very sleek. It's very modern. I think this looks a lot better than the boxy design that ring doorbells use. I'm very much a fan of the actual look of this product. You can get it in multiple different colors. So it's not only in white. There are different color options. But overall, I've been using this for about a month. And I think it's time for us to just look at some footage and see how footage looks with this. See how the built-in camera and the microphone sound. So I'm going to go ahead and reassemble this and we're going to put it back up on my door and then we're just going to take a peek through the doorbell and just see what it looks like on a uh, daily basis for me. And just like that, the device is reassembled and it's ready to go install on the door. So let's go do that. All right.
right, sorry for the poor lighting and sound here, but there it is. The device is installed on the door. Just like that, the U-bracket works perfectly fine. There's the camera. This is what it looks like on the front door. Um, as you can see, this will illuminate whenever you ring the doorbell. And that's the little green indicator that the camera is on. So we're gonna go ahead and close my door here. And it does close perfectly fine. The device is perfectly tight. I'm gonna lock it back. And just like that, it is installed on the inside of the apartment. So the first bit of footage we're looking at here was me this afternoon taking my dog inside after going on a walk with her. So this is just an example of what footage on the doorbell camera looks like midday. There are a lot more examples of footage I could use, but I'm not going to use them. I'm only going to use the ones of me. I'm not going to use the ones of my neighbors because that's just weird. But that is just an example of me walking into my apartment in the afternoon. You can kind of get an idea of what it looks like in full daylight. So now we're going to take a look at what this camera looks like under night vision. So this was taken at around 11.20 p.m. last night when I took my dog out to go to the bathroom. And you can see the night vision. You can see the dog. You can see me. You can kind of get an idea of what it will look like at night. It's the same exact kind of scenario, me walking in my apartment with my dog, just like the last bit of footage I showed you guys. So this just gives you an example of what the camera looks like during the night. So let's go ahead and look at the microphone quality. The example I'm going to use of audio quality from the Google Nest doorbell, it was actually recording while I was recording my video earlier. So this is just me as I'm recording the video you're watching right now, and this is what the Google Nest doorbell microphone sounds like. Notification whenever somebody rings the doorbell, and you can customize the notifications as you want. So I have mindset to only get notified when somebody walks by with a package, but this thing doesn't exactly know what- But that was just a quick overview of the Google Nest doorbell wireless camera. Once again, it does also come in wired, and it also comes in several different colors. The wireless edition will set you back about 180 US dollars, now that's before tax. You can pick it up at Best Buy, you can buy it from Google directly, you can buy them at Target, you can buy them at Home Depot. Multiple different places carry them. So find one near you if you're interested in this. This is also probably the kind of device that does go on sale for Black Friday. So if you're wanting to wait a little bit to get one on a better deal, maybe that's not a horrible idea. But I do recommend this device. I think it is awesome to get notified whenever people are in front of my apartment. My apartment also just straight up doesn't have a doorbell. So even if it wasn't for the camera functionality of this, this is a doorbell as well. And because it does have a camera built in, I get notified when somebody walks by the door of the package, somebody drops off a package, somebody rings the doorbell, I get notified on my phone. And sometimes if I'm playing guitar, listening to music, I might not actually hear my doorbell go off, but I get a notification on my phone and I always notice that. So if you have problems with hearing your doorbell or if you just want an extra sense of safety and security wherever you live, or if you're like me and your apartment just straight up doesn't have a doorbell, this is a very good option and it is a little bit pricey. It is about $180 as I said, but I really do think it's worth a buy. I've been using it for a month. It has kept me updated. I have had instances where my neighbors were a little intoxicated, I think, and they walked up and tried to get into my apartment at 2.30 in the morning. They corrected themselves, but still it's nice to know what's going on when somebody's wiggling on your doorknob at 2.30 in the morning, right? So the added sense of security is something that I just really like. So thank you for watching this quick overview and look and first thoughts one month after owning the Google Nest doorbell wireless. I might do another video further into the future about this product, but I don't really see a need to do so. I've expressed what I think about it. I really enjoy it. I think it's well worth the money. Maybe you can find them used. Maybe you can find it on sale. And there are ways to mount it if your apartment complex doesn't allow you to mount things to the door like at my apartment complex. So as I said earlier in the video, the bracket will be linked down below. Thank you so much for watching. I recommend this product and I'll see you guys in the next review. Peace.